So welcome everybody, welcome to Channeling Korea. Today is February the 21st, 2021. So let's begin just by um, doing a short meditation just for me to get into the, the, the right frame of mind to do channeling. So let's all begin by just starting to take in a deep breath and let it all out. And as we breathe out, let go of any thoughts And then keep on breathing in and breathing out according to the rhythm of your own breathing. And use these couple of breaths to just clear, clear out and smooth out your breathing as well. And start to turn your attention inward. And you can do that even more by focusing in your heart. So just imagine that you're taking an energetic elevator that's taking you from the top of your head to go all the way down into your heart. and set the intention to create a coherence between your heart and your head. And also your power center, your stomach area. If you need to adjust your body position so that you can really sit in a more aligned position so that your, your heart and your head and your power center can all align more properly, do so. When you feel that you are starting to calm down, then choose, choose to feel unconditional love. In your heart, just choose to feel unconditional love for yourself and for your environment and for everything and everyone as well. To let go of any disagreement in your head and just be in the space of unconditionally loving and accepting yourself. Unconditionally loving all that is within you and unconditionally loving and accepting all that is beyond you as well. Be in the space of allowance.
know the intention to be aligned within yourself so that your physical body is aligned with your non-physical bodies. All parts of you are in alignment. And feel what that alignment feels like. Feel what it feels like. To be in alignment with all parts of yourself. When you feel that unconditional love within you, it feels easy, doesn't it? It should. It should really feel easy. Being in alignment with who you truly are is the easiest thing that you can do. It feels like you're in flow. Everything just flow easily. You don't have to keep holding yourself back. You don't have to resist yourself or someone else. You are simply being you flowing with all of your interactions, with all of your creations with everyone around you and also within yourself as well. When you're in a flow state, then you know. You are in alignment with yourself. It is only when you're out of alignment with yourself that is when you start to feel confused or lost. Or angry. Or somehow it feels like things are just not right. They're not connecting. That is because you are out of alignment with who you are within. It is time now. It is time to really cherish that alignment within yourself more than anything else. to cherish that alignment and not to give it up, not to give in to anyone or anything. No matter how
difficult it may seem at first. It may seem easy to do things that are not in the highest alignment with yourself, but it feels like it's in, it's going to be the easiest in order to appease the people around you. And that is just not going to work anymore. Because the more you give away pieces of your own alignment, the more you start to lose the way you start to feel disempowered. Because if you agree to give your power away to one person, and when the next person come around, it will be twice as easy to give away your power until the third or the fourth, or maybe the fifth person that comes around and somehow subtly dropping hints that you should do what they want you to do rather than what you wanted within yourself by the time it gets to the fifth or the sixth person, you may not even remember what your own alignment feels like anymore because you have been so out of alignment with yourself that you don't even realize it when you are simply giving away your own power, giving away your own alignment. You don't even know what it feels like to be in alignment anymore. And if you do this day after day, you become so weak. so out of tune with who you are that your soul have to really create something that will shock you back to wake you up in order for you to remember this is not who I truly am. I'm not sure who I truly am anymore. I am so far away from who I am. And it is never too late. If you find yourself feeling lost and indecisive then you know that you need to start you need to start to come back to yourself when you cherish when you take the actions to stand your own ground, to support yourself, to stand for your own alignment. You start to observe how you need to be in order to feel 
peaceful, happy, grateful, and in alignment with who you are. The more you do that, the more you take the time to really feel. Feel in and check in with how you feel within. The more you do that, you start to come back to yourself. You start to feel that inner alignment stronger and stronger. And when you have built up that muscle, then you will know, you will know almost immediately when someone is infringing and is trying to seduce you. To let go of your own alignment. Your alarm system, your own internal alarm system will be much more apparent and easier for you to hear. And it is up to you. It is up to you to make the choice to stand for your own alignment. We have been so conditioned to think that we have to fit in. Fitting in it's an idea. That does not resonate with who you truly are. What is behind fitting in? If you look, if you really look at it, it is a fear, it is fear. It drives your fitting in idea. The point of being an individual point of having a soul, having an individualized soul, is to get to know who you truly are. The idea of fitting in has behind it the idea that being who you truly are is going to rock the boat. In a society 
that does not allow people to be who they truly are, that is a society that exists on the idea that people being themselves is going to make a society weaker. is really not the right kind of society. Society, the right idea of a society is a society that is built on the strength of being able to allow everyone to be themselves. Variety is really what makes a society stronger. A homogenous society is ultimately a weaker society. To be yourself, to align with yourself, does not mean that you have to disagree with someone else or be disagreeable. It simply means when there is a choice to be made. You have to choose according to what really resonates with you. It means that we have to listen to different points of views. It means that we have to consider all the other points of views genuinely. And when we have considered all of that, we still have to come back to which choice really resonate within and make our choices one action at a time in this way, in this way we each support each other to be stronger because we are strong enough to know our own preferences but also open enough to consider every other alternative points of view. when we become so much more mature and sure of who we are, it actually enables us to become more open and inclusive and be able to look at an issue from different points of views. It is when we are unsure of ourselves, it is when we feel weak 
that we become stubborn. We don't like change. And we tick one side and only one side of a story and refuse to look at any other points of views. That is what sparks disagreements. That is what fuels disagreements. when we really get to honor who we are and stand up for ourselves for what truly resonates with who we are within. When we become sure and comfortable with who we are, that is when we are able to open up and be able to listen to someone else's point of view and to listen to how someone else is able to come to a different conclusion, be able to look at the story from a different angle when we can truly consider all of the different ways that we can look at the same story that we've been able to synthesize what is the right approach for ourselves and sometimes that may be different from someone else and it is when we as mature with our own intelligence and being mature with our own emotions, when we can become open to different points of views, to consider different points of views, without needing to defend ourselves out of weakness, but when we are sure of who we are, when our own points of view is something that is mature and well thought out. That is when we can truly add to the collective and when a society, when a collective is able to accommodate different points of views without falling apart, then a society is strong and is vibrant and is something that will sustain itself. It becomes strong.
and accommodating at the same time. There's no rigidity. It's what nature has built on. Trees do not discriminate whether they are oak trees or pine trees. They don't argue. They don't start out a war that says, you're not a pine. That means you are the enemy. Nature does not think that way. pine tree knows that it is a pine tree. It knows even from the seed all that is needed to grow a pine tree is already contained in the seed. It knows this small pine seed. It knows how to grow into a pine tree. There's nothing to defend. It knows what nurtures itself. And when the right condition is met, it will start to grow. So be that, be that for yourself. Choose to support who you are. Choose to let go of the thoughts of the people that distracts you. And be open to listen to how other people come to their own conclusion, even though their conclusion may be different from yours. Be open to listen to their side of the story. Just because you listen does not imply that you have to agree with them. But if you don't listen to them, if you simply cling on to your own perspective, without opening to incorporate new ideas and new points of view. Then your understanding of who you are and your environment may not be grounded Everyone is being asked energetically 
spiritually. To find their own center. To start to look within, to find their own truth. Beyond energy, beyond frequency, it is really who you are. What you're here to do is already within you. That seed of who you truly are, it's already there. You are being asked to create the right condition to ground yourself so that you can start to mature. To start to honor that brilliance, that spark of the creator source, the divine that is within you. It is there and that is your guiding light. Ground yourself. Create to the best of your ability the environment for that spark of divinity for that creator source within you to start to grow. And become stronger. Strong in conviction. Be based on something that is spiritually makes sense to you. Energetically expands you, allow you to grow into the next dimension, to grow into infinite dimensions. You have all of that within you. You are eternal and limitless. And that's that. By being open. Open to examine. Your point of view. your point of view is it the way it is because that is who you truly are or is it the way it is because someone else tells you
find your own truth. Feel what your own truth feels like. And build on that. Ground that in. And use that. Support that. And be ready to walk away. If that is what you needed to do in order to align with your own truth, because that is how your energy can become coherent. It is coherent by design. When you choose you, you become more coherent. When you choose you, because you have looked through all the different alternatives and you feel into how each of those alternatives resonates with you or not, and you have done that, And you come back to the truth that resonates most with you. And when you do that, all the time you build up your own coherence. You align with yourself. You ground yourself. That is how your energy can grow and gather momentum. So be that for yourself. Ground yourself. Stand up for yourself. Take the time to find out what is within you. When you walk in the direction of your own alignment, you be become able to let go of the distractions. You let go of the discord. That's when you start to feel the resonance of your own energy becoming more and more potent to the point that people who don't resonate with you can't even get into your energy field anymore. Not because you repel them, but because your alignment will expose their misalignment. And 
And that is what we are here to do. That is our true purpose in life. Is to find out, is to look for and nurture what is within us. When you align with yourself, when you truly get to know the power within yourself, your body will become healthier, all on its own. Because energetically, this alignment has to be that. When you align with yourself, your cells down to the molecular level, your cells is now living and swimming in the supportive flow of energy. How can you not be healthy? It is only when you are lost and you deny yourself and you do not seek your own alignment that is when your body can allow in toxins and other discrepancies so feel start to feel and lean into the truth that is within you and honor that, love that, unconditional acceptance. For that, You need not be perfect according to someone else's definition. You're here to be perfect according to you. So support. Support that spark of the divine that is within you. Nurture that. Grow that. Allow that to be the guiding principle of everything that you do. who you be at all times. That is 
the most profound purpose that anyone can choose. We love you very much. And we support you to be the sunshine, to be the life-giving principle for you in all aspects of your being. The world needs you to be you. We love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.